Hi, it's 2022 and it's about dang time I made an updated desk tour. From the start of my last year until now, my workspace has changed a lot. I kind of graduated from my minimalist phase and instead went for a more balanced aesthetic. Last time on my desk tour video, I went for a more white and clean aesthetic. This time I'm opting for adding more black to my workspace. I divided this video into four parts. The main workspace, my mini bookshelf, the pegboard, and the left side. Uh, yeah, great names. Anywho, let's start with my main workspace. Starting off, the newest addition to this desk is a large black rubber mouse pad. I used to use a Daiso mouse pad that I've been using for two years, but it was time for me to get an upgrade because that thing was getting really old and worn out. And since I've gotten into the keyboard hobby, of course I had to get one of those big rubber mouse pads. For the keyboard, I've been using my recently custom-built keyboard, you can check that video out on my channel. We honestly came a long way with keyboards, with the amount of keyboard videos that I have on the channel. But yeah, I'm already happy with what I built. I think this is going to be what I'm going to be using for a long time. This keyboard uses Gateron Yellows, which really has a nice sound, as well as knob to control the volume. Although sometimes I would opt for my other keyboard, my Snowfox 61 with loop gator on reds. I usually use that keyboard when I want a quieter sound and usually when I play Valorant with my friends. On the right of the keyboard, I use my Logitech G103, which I've been rocking for almost two years now. The plastic is starting to shine, so it's about time I upgraded my mouse. But other than that, it's been working pretty well. And honestly, I wouldn't be on my Valorant rank right now without this mouse. No cap. For my laptop stand, I'm using the Lentian L5i laptop stand. This was sent to me by Lentian, and honestly, this is a really great uh, laptop stand. I feel like I'm going to be using this for a long time. On top of it is my Legion 5 from Lenovo, configured with an i5 10th generation chipset with an RTX 2060 graphics card. Finally, for my phone, I've been using my Samsung S20 FE. It's been a wonderful phone to use, and honestly, it has been a wonderful purchase in my life. Moving on, on the right of my desk is where I store most of my notebooks as well as my desk drawer. In the top drawer, I usually store my Osmo 2 in here because I usually shoot a lot. And since I often have to shoot, I put my Osmo 2 in a top shelf where I have easy access to it. On the second shelf, I have everything related to skincare. In this drawer, I have a toner, zinc pills, a serum, a blemish cream, and a nail clipper. I love keeping my nails short so I clip my nails every three days. The bottom shelf is where I keep most of my miscellaneous stuff, such as my earphones, wireless earphones, my keyboard lubricant, power banks, and more stuff. I don't really have anywhere else to store my stuff, so this is where I store most of my extra stuff that I need most often. On the side of the desk, we have my notebooks, and these are usually my books that I use for notes. I contemplated on leaving some academic books on my desk, such as textbooks and such, but I don't really access that often, and I usually have PDFs online where I study from. But other than that, these are my books and my notebooks. On top of the desk is my lamp. I've been using this for three years. I honestly need a change, but now that my universe is coming up, I might move out. So I'm just gonna use this for the rest of the time being. On the left of my books is my Focusrite Solo. This is my audio interface for the mic that I'm using right now. For real, this has been a wonderful purchase, a worth purchase in my opinion. This is a wonderful audio interface as I feel like the audio quality listening to this rather than my laptop dedicated 3.5 millimeter jack. I feel like listening through the audio interface is a lot better. And of course, I needed this in order to power my microphone, which is the Audio-Technica 802020, which I bought last year. Behind the audio interface is my toothbrush. It's from Oral-B, it's an electric toothbrush. And if I were to recommend you to buy something that will help you immensely, I would say an electric toothbrush. Honestly, this has been one of my best purchases so far. Immediately on the left of my audio interface is my pencil, pencil cylinder, pencil, pencil thing. I have no idea, I, what the fuck do I call this? A pencil cup, is that what you call it? Oh yeah, pencil cup. Now this is my pencil cup, I usually store my pens, my paint brushes for lubing, and my keycap remover and switch remover. And finally on the left of the pencil cup is my Google Home. I just use this as a speaker now, I rarely use the Google functions. So yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> 
Moving on to the pack board, I kind of changed it a bit from last time. So on the top, you will see my external hard drive for keeping all my YouTube footage. And here's my little plant over here and my blank Rubik's cube. Below the shelf, you will see where I store my rings and my bracelet. And I thought that I would need like a container for my rings and stuff, but I found this to be quite nice as it's just on my desk and I can access from it anytime. And yeah. Below the rings is where I store my drawing board, and I usually use this drawing board every time I solve math equations. This is from Korea, and it's honestly a worth purchase in my opinion. On the left side of this pegboard is my launch key from Novation. I use this every time I produce music. And finally on the left of my desk, I have just a few things. This little clock was a gift from my parents when we hit 3000 subscribers on the channel. I love this clock, and it's quite cute. I used to check it for the time. I mean, what else do I use it for? Accompanying my clock are my rubber tree plant and my ice bear trash can. This rubber tree plant kind of has a special place in my heart because it's the first plant I've ever showcased on this channel on my first study vlog. And now, comparing to last time, it's a lot taller. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a short video, but honestly, it's because I don't really have that much on my desk to showcase. If you want anything in depth or anything that you want me to go in depth on my desk, do let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked the video and yeah, don't forget to drink your water and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!